Well, the big question, Shiv, now is that if if our numbers are to be believed, it's Modi all the way to Parliament where we are right now. But that leaves a hollow space in Gujarat. Three-term Chief Minister, who is going to be Modi's successor? Well, there are three Patels who are standing in line right now. There have been so many speculative reports about who that person will be. Because remember, it's it's almost unthinkable when you think about the campaign that's been fought. Who can actually fill that void? Every time someone's actually been asked, even people like Smriti Irani, whose name at one point in time was doing the rounds, it was almost unthinkable. It was like sacrilege to even, you know, offer oneself up to be a, a replacement for a person like Narendra Modi. I think that's part of the mythology. But here's a report on who's standing in line to fill that space. Who will succeed Narendra Modi in Gandhi Nagar? In the end, it's turning out into a race between three Patels. Leading the race is Anandi Bain, a former teacher and the state's education minister, a lady who was at Modi's side during his nomination at Vadodara. She's a fierce Modi loyalist and she stood by him during the days of dissent by Keshubhai Patel. She's a tough and careful politician but is vociferously opposed by Amit Shah, a man she has been in a cold war with for a while. Another favourite among punters is Saurabh Patel, a man who has held some of the most important portfolios under Modi. He's certainly one of the most educated in the ministry, has tons of administrative experience and is said to be related to the Ambani's. In fact, he's the man who has acted as the link between Modi and the industry. But he's not a consumer politician, the others are. There is of course Nitin Patel, the finance minister in Modi's cabinet, the only one among the lot to have voiced his ambitions. So, this is the fact that Narendra Bhai is being made by the BJP and the BJP and the BJP and the BJP and the BJP. After that, what will happen is that our party and our Modi and our Nita Ghan will do it. Another name in the hustings, Bhiku Bhai Dalsaniya. He's been the link between the state government and the Sangh for the past 12 years. All poll candidatures go through him, but he's relatively low profile, with minimal recognition outside the state. There is another dark horse, Rajya Sabha member Purshottam Rupala. He's a Patel too. But if some are to be believed, Modi may yet pull out a shocker with Amit Shah. Sources say that Modi may end up gifting Gujarat to his Man Friday as a reward for delivering him Uttar Pradesh. Bureau Report, headlines today.